Assalamu alaikum my ninjas, welcome back, Muhammad here from Techutopia. So I have a special video regarding uh, uh, Chinese smartphones. Uh, I know I'm positive but this video will be about the negativity of the Chinese smartphones. Uh, but uh, I decided to do, since last year I've done the worst smartphone from China of 2016, that was THL T9 I think so. So this year is uh, some uh, smartphone from Phonemax Venus, basically it's Venus X, it's called Venus X. Uh, this is uh, by far uh, for this year 2017 the worst thing that I ha held in my hands man It does look beautiful. It does look beautiful, but you know that makeup uh, hides all the uh, ugliness of this world man So uh, check it out. Uh, I'm gonna roll out there now the full interview It's gonna be very quick because I didn't even decided to bother myself to do some beautiful shots with this smartphone because there's no sense man And since I don't recommend the recommend it to buy it. Let's begin now and let's go ninja so basically this review will be very short I didn't even bother to do my classical review with this one there's no point why would I do that man because I don't recommend this smartphone no chance so it is basically to conclude this year with the worst uh, phone I tested in 2017 I've done that like I mentioned in the intro with the THL T9 Pro last year 2016 uh, anyway couldn't find better candidate than this piece of tramp here I ordered this one two months ago for one reason only the promotion stated it's six four millimeter thick of course when I received it the story was different of course a lie Chinese people do lie a lot at least these Chinese companies not to generalize all, all the Chinese population of course since I love China I mean let's uh, just uh, mention here the bad and good signs and later on I'm gonna show you like in details with the video clips and everything uh, of course uh, I usually with my classical in-depth reviews I leave the pros and the cons for the end and I first show you the clips but right now I'm gonna tell you all the pros and cons basically uh, uh, of course what I like and what I don't like about this smartphone so let's mention the good sides why not just to cheer up this review a little bit uh, a full metal body for example 70 uh, 75 dollars full metal body it's very rare to find in a Chinese smartphone most of them do have only basically metal frames uh, or maybe just a removable metal uh, maybe basically metal case or something like that chassis or something like that but most of them come with the plastic design man or at least polycarbonate design cool look it is a very coolish there stylish kind of uh, i'd give this i gave this smartphone to my friend and he said look it looks like basically like a girlish smartphone so it's something like that it's like a bling bling smartphone uh, good instant screen very bright so i was uh, very surprised uh, for 75 dollars well, where this is one maybe i would say that uh, maybe i would even praise it that much that it is one of the best uh, screens that i tested for 75 dollars uh, at least regarding the viewing angles and the colors i will mention later on some bad things about it also yeah Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, let's continue next. Also, I would mention that uh, the good sides is I was surprised by the sound speaker quality. It's very crispy, very crispy. It is low. The sound. It's not loud. Don't I think it is not loud. There are louder sound speakers for the price, but the sound, the quality is very crispy. There, there's not a, that kind of bass. It's not. It's not there. You won't achieve that thing. You won't get it. But the crispness is there for you. Um, so yeah, these are basically four things which I say that they are the best things about it. Uh, uh, the bad things, there are more bad things, more cons, more reasons not to buy. So that's why I put this one and why, that's why I choose this smartphone for the worst thing, worst device from China that I tested so far, at least in the smartphone world. Uh, number one, which I mentioned is the battery life. Uh, the battery life is very bad, screen on time, it's very bad. And I even just tested it on the regular use with the Wi-Fi on. I didn't, uh, I didn't include the Bluetooth and GPS on I didn't include the mobile data just the Wi-Fi simple Wi-Fi screen on time use there and it's very bad barely you can get four hours barely that's very bad man you can get this, uh, you can get Lago M5 or Lago M8 and they do have better battery life than this one with even larger screen there with even larger screen and not just Lago I'm not just praising right now the Lago company and it is the cheapest company from China which offers the best uh, uh, priced smartphones in the cheap segment world there under $19. Wi-Fi connectivity there is no chance that anybody will praise the Wi-Fi connectivity of this smartphone it's super bad man 
two uh, two basically two states uh, two times where, where they are super bad one time is when you are downloading something or maybe some update uh, is happening on Google Play Store and if you are using maybe YouTube or maybe Chrome device a Chrome browser or something like that it's gonna be laggy you're gonna wait for 10 minutes 10 seconds until some site or maybe some YouTube video is open man 10 seconds 5 to 10 seconds that's very bad man or the second time when you are using without downloading anything in the back still the Wi-Fi connectivity is bad I think that they use a Wi-Fi receiver inside of this smartphone is super old or maybe it's super cheap maybe it's one of the cheapest component of this smartphone the Wi-Fi receiver inside of it uh, I don't get it maybe or maybe we can just uh, beat or maybe uh, smash stash has clash the software maybe just the software there they didn't uh, optimize it really good with the Wi-Fi there RAM stability is really bad for 2 gigabyte RAM smartphone I can even reckon a one year old smartphone the Ulephone 007007 if you remember that smartphone I like I like that smartphone man uh, I, will, I will have to watch that my, my review my old review regarding that smartphone uh, again and again just to see how uh, Chinese smartphones look that uh, before one year or something like that it had one gigabyte RAM and it behaved better than this smartphone guys behaved better than this one UI is very laggy you're gonna see later on and in probably you're seeing right now that's very very laggy two-year-old software so the security patch is from 2016 in February January man so it's two years <laughs> damn man that's two years and there's no OTAs they're also one of the bad things about this, this smartphone that there's no OTAs I didn't receive any OT at all in two years in two months sorry for that in two months I didn't receive any OT and but basically two year I don't even know when they pr uh, produce the smartphone and I don't know I just don't know I just know that it's on gear that's one of the latest one that they had maybe they didn't produce it in uh, right now in uh, uh, latest uh, months there 2017 but it's just bad very bad microphone microphone oh my god microphone is horrible has that some kind of buzz sound never had it in some cheap smartphone uh, you will, of course I'm gonna test it later on and I will show you and also to mention that the touch the sensitivity the screen the digit digitizer is somehow really bad it does have I'm really surprised that it has a five touch screen it, it accepts five touches in the same time but I don't get it how bad that is the, the screen digitizer is just messed up sometimes in the gaming I need to swipe two times to do to perform some action so it's really bad guys anyway I don't want to bother you anymore right now I'm gonna just roll out uh, all the other things about this smartphone you're gonna see uh, obviously the clips and we're gonna talk more about it uh, in the upcoming clips so check it out stay tuned man Okay, Ninjas, one of the really bad things about this smartphone is obviously, which I just showed you, the Wi-Fi connectivity is just horrible. Even I'm just next to, the, next to the router, just two meters away from the router, man. It's very bad. Basically, I'm going to just try to open another YouTube video, and you can see by itself, it just goes and on and on and on and on. Just takes a while, man. Really horrible. Uh, for the same price, uh, I, I had a lot of different Chinese smartphones, cheaper ones, which did open faster and did have at least slightly better Wi-Fi signal than this one, man. Uh, okay, let's go next. Okay, Ninja, so let's test the sound speakers here uh, regarding the smartphone. Maximum volume straight away. The sound speakers are on the back. This is high maximum volume, so very low, but the sound is somewhat, I'm surprised that the quality is there, man, it's not distorted. It even has some kind of crispness there, which is okay, just it's not loud. So regarding the audio, it's passable, it's passable for this price, ninjas. Let's go next. Okay, I just recorded something, mic test here. One, two, one, two, checking out, microphone, uh, Phonemax Venus X, my name is Mohammed. Oh damn, guys! It has kind of, uh, uh, kind of buzzing, uh, constant buzzing. I don't know what happened there. What happening? Maybe inside inside of the smartphone, some component or something like that next to the microphone. Who knows? But it's a horrible mic quality there. Unfortunately, uh, you can find a better smartphone with the same price that it doesn't have this buzz. I'm I'm gonna just show you right there again. Just listen carefully. You're gonna hear it. One two one two. Checking out microphone. Uh... Phonemax Venus X. My name is Muhammad. Yeah, you can hear it, man. Bad, just bad. Let's go next. 
Okay, so we are shortly testing here basically showing you the battery life uh, 2000 you have a 2000 million power battery inside of it it's non-removable and on the site basically they stated that you can charge this battery this smartphone in two hours around two hours that's really bad guys because this smartphone has less than 2000 million power battery you should expect that it's gonna charge somewhere around half an hour or something like that uh, basically it's a really bad uh, charging time and also bad battery life there uh, I didn't expect really to have anything good because I didn't know that it's gonna come with the 2000 but uh, somehow I give it something basically I had some hope that with this really uh, battery efficient uh, CPU SOC quad core 1.3 gigahertz clocked at and 5 inches HD resolution only expected something really good but no you don't get battery life it's horrible man it's horrible the camera, so the camera samples uh, regarding the front you have 2 megapixel interpolated to 5, very bad, so basically you do get a higher resolution but the pixels there, the quality is just, uh, you're gonna see a lot of noise there. Uh, back camera is 8 megapixel and slash interpol interpolated to 13 uh, megapixel, remember that. Uh, regarding the, uh, the camera department there, it's... Uh, okay, I'm gonna use two different terms. It's bad and it's poor. So you can decide whatever you want to uh, call it, guys. It is bad when I uh, uh, if you never tested, if you are not like me, if you are not in my position, because I tested different smartphones with this price tag around 75 to 85 dollars, and this is really bad camera. It is really bad camera, man. Uh, it is somehow it's acceptable if you're gonna use it for a second as a secondary smartphone. Even then, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say that it's a good bad. Uh, it's good the camera, but. Uh, based Basically, just to sum it up, it's a bad camera, you have samples there, uh, the shakiness is there, the, 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 the noise is there, the dynamic range is just bad, it's just the washed, you can see by itself that the colors are washed, it's not real at all. Okay Ninjas, this is the front selfie camera, recording video with this cheap cheap smartphone. You judge by yourself, I'm gonna try to walk a bit. There you go, it's super shaky, supposedly it has EIS, but I think with the back camera. Anyway, that's it. Okay, Ninja, so let's test the fingerprint scanner. We have it on the back, like you see by itself. Uh, let's begin straight away. Tap. Oh, damn, that's slow. Yeah, that's very slow. That's a second and a half delay there, I think so. Reminds me of some uh, cheap Humidigi smartphones without uh, uh, good uh, balanced software there. Even worse than the Humidigi uh, smartphones there anyway they do fix it uh, you won't have a fix with this one uh, because uh, this smartphone is uh, two years old software inside of it the security patch is two years old guys believe me or not I never had any Chinese smartphone that it had outdated uh, software like this one I, I don't even know when they produced this one I couldn't even find some information Gibbs was selling it AliExpress was selling this smartphone uh, basically that's it let's go again yeah, that's very slow. Uh, I would I would a bit argue that it is somewhat reliable there, so we could say that's that's good side of this one. If you're gonna use the fingerprint scanner, it's at least somewhat reliable. It's just really slow and laggy, laggy, laggy a lot. Look at this man, it's laggy. You can see by itself that it's not that smooth. Okay, let's go next.